everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen on a Saturday afternoon. So I hope you're all sat there lovely and comfy because Georgie and I are in the kitchen. So you may have seen on our little, John's got his phone bleeping, well done John. <laughs> um, you may um, have seen the little intro that we did before. We've no Laura and Maria in the kitchen day today. We've got John on camera, which is proving to be fun because John can't remember how to use it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've also got me doing the filming today. Now I'm not as nippy and angelic as Maria, so I may not be able to get in all the bits I need to get into. We're we'll <laughs> gonna try. So I'll be doing the filming. So if you see me bobbing about with the camera, then you know it's my turn today. We've got Georgie here. Georgie's been a busy lady all week, always a busy lady, just like me, she never stops. She's been over at Renshaw Academy for two days teaching. She's done um, like a coffee morning thing demo Dim this morning. Demo, yep. Then she's flipped over to Cheshire to see us and to give you a little live. And then she's back in the car again on the way down to Essex. Because are you not making a wedding cake or something tomorrow? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> at Ely on Monday night. Yes. Yeah. Loads busy. to do, loads to do. So let me just, while Georgie gets set up as well, let me, and I need to get my camera set up, let me just take about a few new things in the kitchen. So um, just before we do that, I think John's got his phone on. Do you want us to shout out a few hellos, John? How are we doing? I haven't got my phone on. You haven't got your phone on? Uh, Whose phone is bleeping, buzzing? Something's buzzing. Uh. <laughs> Something's buzzing. <laughs> Never a dull moment in the kitchen, folks. <laughs> Might be me, actually. Yes, it is. <laughs> Saw the notifications of you lot. Look, <laughs> notifications we've gone live. Surprise me. <laughs> right, okay then. So um, let me just tell you what's new on the agenda. So these have arrived. We've been waiting for these, okay? Now, don't get them muddled up with the sweet sticks. So Amy Cakes, sweet stamps, okay? She does lots of little... Um, pads like these they're called sweet stamps and she's actually done us our own range so you'll see that there's two pads there on our website both in the hot pink we've had to have hot pink because it's our colors but as it happens it happens to be sweet sticks colors as well so with our set you get a full uppercase lowercase numbers and the and sign and i'm just going to see which camera i can show you on then john which so we can see on the right camera now it's going to be fun isn't it he's not even watching what cameras we're on i'll just stand here then shall i <laughs> while you look at me sideways so, <laughs> so there we go have we got them john we have got them yes right. are you yes. sure you know what you're doing today john no. it's very clear that i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Okay, so that's those there. And then last night we were playing with them because Amy was playing with them and she'd done that suit. If you go onto our website, you'll see that lovely image that she's done. But we were having a play, I'm not quite sure if you've got it here. What does this say? Do you think you can see it? We've got to be dead in front of it. Got to be dead in front, yeah. So it says, but I think I used the wrong colours. I think if I used one colour, it would have been better, but I used pink and black. But it says I'm now in a relationship with sugar and crumbs. Yeah. And then I had two lovely ladies in here with us last night, and um, Annette, who's on, because we've got a nasty porter in the building as well, teaching nine students. So we've got um, Annette did sparkles. We've got it, John? We have, we Super. have. Super, so that's sparkles. And then Natalie Porter herself did this one. She tried all, not, all night not to have a go. But she was watching us playing and having a laugh. And then she came over, she just couldn't help herself. So we've got this one, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah, super, so we've got that one. Oh, um, and then um, we have Wendy Campion, she made this one with love. So it's all about playing, enjoying yourself. These can be just cake boards, or you can use them as cake toppers, time for treats. That's because she brought us a load of chocolate to eat. So anyway, I think I've showed you enough of them now, because, uh, yes. And how's our audience growing, John? How are we doing? Getting set up. I've got to look out for Amelia. So if anybody sees Amelia pop up, that's Georgie's granddaughter. And as Georgie says herself, it's her biggest fan. She's also a big Nifty Nozzles fan, isn't yes, she? Sugar she is. and Crumbs fan. We have uh, over 100 people. Well done. Um, Fantastic. 107 people watching. Wow. Saturday afternoon. So hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> so on a Saturday afternoon, thank you for joining us. And give a... Julia and Kerry give a wave to the Renshaws gang from this morning's demo. Ah, oh, hello, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
see, busy girl over at Renshaw's, now in sugar and crumbs. But like I said before in the little um, intro, if ever you get the opportunity to go over Renshaw's, do, because I am so envious of their um, facilities over there. They're amazing, aren't they? Brilliant. And they give it 16 students in, they give you coffee, they give you cake. We do the same here, of course, but it's very nice. So a great place. So I'm going to get myself ready. Does anybody, would you want to ask some questions, do some shout outs while Georgie gets herself ready and I get my camera ready? Did you want to show them what we're making? I'm going to show them what they're making. Yeah, then I'll get over here. One second. Don't forget this to is what questions. we hope to make. <laughs> right, we're going to make the unicorn because it's so popular. Everybody loves the unicorn. I made that egg yeah. at your class in the French Yes. Alright. Yeah, it's good. Don't worry about me. Right, right, we're going to do the unicorn. We're going to do the little chicks or mummy chick. Yeah. You might have to pull those off. Do you want to bring with us the central camera? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, John, do you think you could help with speaking and giving some direction? Yeah. Because it'd really help if you participated instead of doing hand signals. <laughs> I don't mind what he does, actually. I'm doing my best. I feel like I'm hands and feet everywhere at the minute. <laughs> oh, we've gained a little whatever. I don't know. Anyway. That's fine, just there. Right, yes, so we're yep. going to do that. Then we're going to do some bunnies. Perfect. Perfect, they're so cute. Already for Easter. Easter. Here's some more little chicks. Absolutely lovely. And we're going to do little Easter chicks as well. Yes. So we've got bunnies, we've got chicks and a unicorn be made for you this afternoon so make sure you sit there tell them about your books georgie my books right all the instructions oh amelia was on air she said hello nanny so as susan richmond's told us but i'm not spotted oh dear, it oh dear i'm in trouble <laughs> if i didn't say hello amelia right, right these are my books these are the my sugar, sugar wobbly books Just a little bit please yeah perfect right that's it left right the that's it that's signal. it that's it the perfect. hand signals here folks are brilliant <laughs> thank you very much john um, these are my books. Um, do not go and if you're joining me on Facebook and look for Sugar Wobblies, look for my name. Um, if you go onto Sugar Wobblies, you might get more than what you bargained for. Yes. So I've had to take that page down, and now we've got a, a page in my own name. So look for me under Georgie Godbold, mm -hmm. my name, not Sugar Wobblies. Um, it didn't work. No. So we've got this one, which is just animals, and this one. This little book is geared mainly for Christmas. Super, lovely. So the and they've books. both been really popular books. Yes. So go, guys, as per usual, to make things easy, we do have the Sugar and Crumbs website, okay? And that's uh, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can pop over to there um, and look along at Facebook Live, drop down into this month's Find Georgie Godfold, and everything she's using today is in that wish list, including her books, the one thing that we don't sell is Georgie has a set of scales to sell. So if you private message Georgie, she can sort that out with you separately. But everything else is on sale. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> John's just doing camera adjustment. Which camera are we on, John? We're adjusting the camera. Which one am I looking at, John? This, this, one. Mean, this one. Right. Yes, these are my little scales. All the little characters that I make, every component for them, whether it's hands, feet, body, is all weighed out and then they're all the same um, and you won't get them with big heads little bodies big feet I've done all the main work for you so yes I've got my little scales for sugar craft of course <laughs> we won't yes. go into the other uses no. at all well sugar craft people <laughs> right so I'm going to weigh out 45 grams which is the body and we're gonna make the body for the chick and we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes so that's 45 grams Ooh, 44.9, can't have that. No. No, it's got to be accurate. As I'm sure you've worked with me, we will know. Dun. That's fine. Super. <laughs> right, need that. So I'm using today, I'm using the um, flour and modelling paste, which I, and I've coloured this up with um, the Edible Art um, sunflower colour, which Carol is about to um, stock. stock. Yes, it's not are. in stock yet, the edible art colours, but they soon will be. So these are the colours that I use. 
If you can um, buy the yellow modelling paste, we've got the yellow modelling paste, so you don't yeah. have to um, add anything to it. You can use it straight from the packet, which is good. But you need a flour and modelling paste. Okay. The only paste you use when you're covering a cake, like, tell me where to go. Just dive a little bit there. Yep, perfect. The cake I've covered is with sugar paste, which is fondant. And the top of this cake has been covered with the chocolate Renshaw sugar paste. And it smells absolutely delicious. But you're not allowed to eat it. <laughs> right. These little characters are non-edible. They're cute little keepsake characters. So if you're making one of these and you're putting it on a cake and you're giving it to somebody, just put a great big label on, do not eat the sugar wobbly. <laughs> And you're covered. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, sometimes I'll even take a photograph if I of my box to show exactly what I've, I've got in there. Do not eat. Yeah, you just so true, isn't it? you've got to make yourself covered. Yeah, you can't. You've got to be so careful if you're putting on anything which is non-edible. Nice smooth ball. And that's why you can use the edible art. Isn't it? Ed edible art. Yes. yes. All these powders which I'm using are edible. All the paste is edible. So I made a nice cone. Cocktail sticks. So if you can't get that nice and smooth, just roll it on your board. So that's the body of nearly all the wobblies that I make they all start off with a 45 gram ball and it's turned into a cone with a cocktail stick. Right, I'm going to do the unicorn. So this is a, um, a body that I made earlier. We're also going to use these little boards that Carol's got in stock. And they're just nice to take a little ornament. They're perfect, like three inch They're board. perfect, mm. yeah, perfect for your, these little wobblies. So we're going to put him on there. I use sugar glue. What sugar glue have you got in stock? Uh, well, we use Renshaw, uh, we yep. use Squires, we use, we use a, f a fair few actually to be fair. Yes. So a little bit of glue in the middle. And we put the body on. There you go. Do you so think you can participate, John? Yes, John. Bear in mind, I can't read any comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very quiet in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do everything, can you? No. <laughs> Only do one thing at a time. Give over. Oh, Come yeah. on. Concentrate. Give me some scissors. So where my scissors have gone. It's been a bit manic these last few days, so yeah. you have to forgive me if I lose anything. I'm getting lost coming here with Satna because <laughs> we ended up more or less in a field. <laughs> and I just messaged her and said, I don't know where you are, where you are, but make sure you put our road name in, otherwise you're going to end up in a field. She went, I'm in the field. I'm in the field. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm thinking is be careful with the wobblies because the wobblies were in the back of the car going bang, 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 bang. Because their little legs go up and down so we could hear them chattering and then bang. <laughs> I don't think we had any breakages. So no, you didn't. Bad, you did very no. well. So all the cakes are the Renshaw sugar paste and all the modelling I do is by the Renshaw modelling paste. So you want 20 grams. Might help some turn off. No, no football on today, unfortunately. Really? What's Chris watching? George's husband's in the front room with his feet up. He's yeah. been banned. <laughs> he's, he's got the right idea. I did say to him, do you want to come in? And George went, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he's staying in there. Because he heckles me and I don't like being heckled. <laughs> nice smooth ball. And these are the back legs. So I need the ends flat, so I'm just pushing them on. They go halfway round. So with your glue, no questions yet? No, not no. yet. Uh, Maria Deville Harrop said it was good to see you on Thursday, the session in Renshaw. Oh, lovely, yes. Great idea to weigh out the fondant. Jill Weaver's got back from the demo that she was on this morning. <laughs> They're hooked. 
George. I said they've got to watch on the yeah. They're hooked, you see. They've been seeing you this morning. And and lots of people again. lots of people saying hello. Well, we're up to 128 viewers. Fantastic. Ooh. Very good for a Saturday afternoon. And we've got Katya from Brazil. Ah, hello. Wow, Katya. hello. <laughs> oh, that's a long way. Oh, yeah, Brazil. Mm. If there's anybody else watching today who hasn't been in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, feel free to say hello to us. Let us know where you are in the world, what time it is where you are. The Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen is all about having a bit of fun, just having a little bit of laugh. We have tutors who come to the kitchen and show you how to make, how to do some of the things that they make. They make it really easy for you and um, and it's a good laugh. Oops, I've just lost the microphone. And so, there's no pressure. <laughs> right, so I'm mixing 20 grams. All the instructions that I'm telling you are all in the books, which Carol has in yeah. stock. So what goes on in the sugar and crumbs kitchen stays in the sugar and crumbs <laughs> kitchen. We're not eating anything here, we're just making little models for your cake toppers. So if you accidentally see us touch our face, our hair or whatever else, do not worry about it. <laughs> Is modelling paste different to flour paste? No, um, flour paste is a little bit stronger. Yeah. But you can make flours out of the modelling and flour paste. Yeah. It's very confusing with all the different things, yes. but you can actually use this using Renshaw flour and modelling paste and just their modelling paste. Right. Yeah. With the flour and modelling paste, it comes in about eight or nine colours. Uh, the the modelling paste just comes in white only. And when it comes, it's very, very hard. You may have to chop it into cubes, try and knead it, and if you can't, just pop it in the microwave just for a couple of seconds, no more than five or six. You've got the um, the modelling, flour and modelling comes, yeah. yeah. In your in some different colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so that's colors? good. Yeah, that's good. I tend to um, always buy black and red. It's very difficult to get black and red colours in sugar, so I buy it. There's it's no not... point spending all that time and energy. No. By the time you've gone through all the colour, yeah, all the hard work, yes. never got there. No, go to the shop and buy it. It's worth buy two it. pound odd. Yeah. Well, we've got a, quite an international audience. We've got Belinda in Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, hello, Belinda. Hello, we've I'd got, like to go there. We've got Brenda on the East Coast, USA. Fantastic. We've got yeah. Alison in Vancouver, Canada. Amazing. Wow. Fantastic. So, hello, ladies. Thank you for joining us. We've got Auntie P who was here last week oh, in, yes. in, in Collybacky. Yeah. So Auntie P was here on our cupcake bouquet class last week. Lovely lady. Met some great ladies last uh, well, meet great ladies in our classes all the time. But we set up a little messenger group and it's just been chat, chat, chat all about it. It's been such a fun class. I'd love to do one of your bouquet flowers yeah. one day. 27th of April, next one. <laughs> Don't tell Chris. <laughs> It's nice to do something different. Yeah. Right. The glue. Bottom. So I'm going to try and stay here for most of the filming. So if you can try and turn around to me. That'd be great. Can you? Are you seeing all right with all uh, these cats? Can, just down again. You can just whiz it round to the audience. Right. Um, I might get John. Can you see well on that camera? That's oh, camera. We've, we've got a lady from Puerto Rico. Ooh. I'm not sure we've had anyone from Puerto Rico before. No. Wow. Lovely and warm. Right. Freezing the cold here. As you know, these are made with pipe cleaners, so they wobble. Yeah. Did I say that? You did. Yeah. So the pipe cleaners, we don't sell ourselves either. So the scales and the pipe cleaners, the pipe cleaners, they'll have to nip onto eBay or Amazon for them. They're very, very cheap. Go into Hobbycraft, they Hobbycraft. sell bags of them. Yeah. Hobbycraft. Really very you cheap. Just move a bit towards the middle of the board. Perfect. Yeah. They're really very cheap, so you're looking for pipe Indeed. cleaners. It's not worth us selling them, to be fair. No. There's that many colours as well. You, you'd get dizzy with all the colours. When I started, it was very difficult to get hold of them. Now, they're everywhere. Yeah. See what you've done. Yes. <laughs> People stopped smoking pipes, there wasn't any. You came along with the wobblies. <laughs> so, this pipe cleaner is going to go the, over the back of the cocktail stick, down to the bottom of the board. But before we do that, and there's our little hoofs already made, these will not fall off them. Because they've got the pipe cleaners, they've got wire inside, they stay. Because often arms and legs, especially if you've just started, the arms tend to fall off or the legs fall off. So if you use pipe cleaners with the wires inside, um, it works. I'm going to do a little, um, put a little front on this. Now, if you want to do the unicorn, 
the unicorn in the book is the cow. That was very confusing when she told us this the first time round. I right. have to say, the unicorn is the cow. cow. Do you get it? Right. So basically, look up the cow. Look up the cow. Laura's just put on the link to the book. So yeah. thanks, oh, Laura. Thank you. The cow. The unicorn wasn't born when I did the book. So if you take the nostrils and um, the wobbly bits off. <laughs> Udders. Udders. Oh. If you take them off, that's a unicorn. Yeah. And do them in white. With a little bit, yeah. You can yeah. do them in white. You can do them in yeah. yeah, any colour, yeah. yeah. So if you follow the instructions for the cow, then you'll get the unicorn. Auntie Peach just said she donated one of the cupcake bouquets for charity yes. this morning. I saw oh, that. And well it, ra it raised £255. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well done. Hmm. Well done. Well done. Right. The flower and modelling paste rolls lovely and thin. Oh, you've just got those new sticks, we've just brought those in. What? Those cell sticks are. These? Yeah, they're great, Brilliant. aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Now, the, the way I've got this one, I'll have to quickly tell you, is that I was working at the NEC, busy, busy, on the stand, rolling out, turned round to pick up my rolling pin and it had gone. <gasps> These things happen. Yeah. So I ran to grab this from the stand yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's one of the best things yes. I've ever had. It's we brilliant. stopped them. They're not on the wish list, anybody. Yeah. They are in new arrivals, but they are fat. Because you can also make the, the holes, put your paste on and make them a um, hole yeah. in the middle. They're brilliant, yes. So that was a sheer fluke that I had one of those. Another thing that I love are the um, embossers. Yeah. Brilliant. Buy good ones. Yeah, we sell the FMM ones. But yeah. If you want some, I do believe FMM are discontinuing them. So we need to find another supplier. I'll get back to you. I've got some on the website, but I haven't got all of them. So put your cutter down and pull up your paste. And that gives you a nice smooth edge. We're just going to decorate his tummy. A little bit of glue again. Yep, the little palette tool is always great, isn't it? It's fun. Yes. Oh yes, have you got those? Yeah. If you're a sugar crafter, that's a must. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't, well, you need other things, but that is definitely a must. Yeah. You yeah. use it for everything. You use it with the nozzles, yeah. cupcakes. We used it even in the cupcake bouquets last week. You yeah. just help move the cupcakes around yes. a little bit. That'll yeah. get your fingers in the way. So can you see him coming on? Yeah. He's looking together. Is that your job? Yes, it is John. Not us. <laughs> is it? Right, put the ends of the pot. If there's any fluff, just remove it. Uh, into a little bit of the glue. Not too much. A lot of us are very heavy handed with glue. If you're heavy handed with glue, only use a little tiny um, paintbrush. Could you just get back to the centre of the board again, please? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Should I just Thank turn you. that around there, John? Thank just you. tell me off. A little bit of glue. Right? Around the back. On the board. And push down. Just hold for a few minutes and it's late. I'm going to have to turn him around to hold it. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you keep turning them back to the audience, we don't mind. <laughs> and with your little palette knife, push them on. And that helps push them into the body. Yeah. Right. The head. Nearly all the heads of all the characters that I make are 20 grams. And you put all the measurements in your books, don't you? Measurements, yeah. lengths, I think if I remember right, is it 40 grams for the body, 20 for the head? 45 grams for the body, 20 for the head, yes. What is it, 10 for the feet or something? Yes, so. yeah, cut in half, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then you get used to knowing that they're all the same size. <laughs> okay. Start off with one at a time. Probably the cat or even the unicorn is quite easy. And just follow it step by step. Don't deviate. Don't go make anything else. Just follow that one as I've, I've written it and it, it will work. Yeah, it does, I've made one. you made one? I did, I made that little unicorn cake over there. Did, did, you show, did we show them before? Which one? Did you show them the unicorn cake over there, John? I showed them the unicorn, yeah. Unicorn on top. Yes. Yeah. Unicorn cake. Unicorn cake. Unicorn cake. Twenty grams. can't guess this. There you go. A little bit of Trex, not cookie, not lard, you need Trex. 
It's advertising, really, isn't it? Yes, for it this is. Project going yeah, on. but it's a great product. It's a great product. It's great for wiping on your green board as well. It helps lift everything. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice smooth ball, and you've got it into a sausage with a bit of pink. The question: Do we have the books to buy? Yes, we do. Yes, they do. And I think if you just look a little bit further up the feed, Elaine, uh, Laura posted it just a few minutes ago. The the link that is. But if you missed it there, just go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. When you get to the homepage, go right the way along to Facebook Lives, drop down there into this month's Facebook Lives, look for Georgie Godbold, go in there, and everything she's using today is in there. There's two products she's not that we don't sell, and that is we don't sell the scales. She will have to directly message uh, Joel Goldie. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. Georgie for those, direct, okay? And the um, pipe cleaners, you can buy them uh, from Amazon or eBay, or you can actually go into Hobbycraft and buy them. Um, Georgia's using a range of colours before. Normally when she's here, she'll use the fractal colours. But um, I have told her that I am going to start stocking some of the edible art colours, because they are beautiful. Yes. And they should be with us within the month. So all you sugar paste flowers ladies who make mm. sugar sugar flowers i'm sure you're gonna be excited because i actually had georgie asked me before margaret ellis and several other ladies asked me would i stop them and i just saw someone has asked do we sell the little silver discs we yes. do the <laughs> silver disc comes in packs of 25 and it's a three inch and it's 5.99 for 25 which works out what that's brilliant that's very good yeah i've stopped selling them as singles because they end up flying all over the yeah. warehouse so but you go through 25 when you're making models, Easy. you go through yeah. it in no time. Yeah. What does that work out each then, John? 16p. 16p oh, each. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've cut out a circle. These are the um, geo cutter, geometric cutters, which Carol sells. You get your hearts, your squares, and your rounds. There's 10 in and a pack. And you always use them. And these are the only cutters that I use. Don't buy rubbish cutters. Don't buy, if they're cheap, really cheap, if they're just not worth it, you buy twice. Yeah. So these are FMM and they're lovely. And to be fair, you've always said that ever since I've known you. Right from the yeah. beginning. Every single character, all the ears, the um, the noses, which I'm doing, they're all made, and the little wings are all made with the geo cutters. Right, glue. Don't put glue right on the edge because as soon as you push it onto the nose, it squelches out. If you're really heavy-handed, you need to go down to a very fine brush because people use too much glue and it will get sticky. That's me, brush. you know that. And put the nose on. Right, John, I'm going to have to pass this camera over to you. Me and you are going to take turns. Because my back's on. <laughs> Get up, John. <laughs> so stop sitting in your chair, John, I'm coming over there. <laughs> stop, you'll stop keep telling me to move then. <laughs> my back was gone for 12 months before, yeah, we got, okay. before I got a seat. So John, you're fine. You've, been, you've, been, you've been a long time to go yet. You can see it's not serious in this kitchen. <laughs> My back's gone. So if anybody wonders what I'm doing, I'm actually taking Maria's place today and I'm just doing little videos, pulling up, zooming in, so that when Maria comes back off holiday next week, she can uh, use them to make some little um, small one minute videos. So John, can I take over? <laughs> she was a so I'm about to pass John, out. can you take over here, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah, John. There we go. Okay. I don't think I'll take you, John, Georgie. Right, you, gonna... Viewing figures might go down. Right, we've got two holes. Yes, so when you've pushed on to make the little nostrils, um, you're actually pushing that paste through and that's helping hold it on. The circle cutter that you used for the muzzle, if you hold that underneath his chin and push, he's then got a nice little smiley face. And yeah, you can good. enhance that just by doing two little dots at the end. See that? Yes, look, it's smiling. Here we can. Make sure it's glued underneath his chin. Yeah. yeah, it's cute. Eyes. Don't get the eyes too far apart. Um, if they're wide, they look evil. If you want to see an evil unicorn or an evil bunny, do the eyes wide apart. But it's much better if you do them quite close together. There are different ways of doing eyes. Um, you can use, I used to use the stamens, but we can't get any more. If anybody sees a nice big round stamens, please let me know, because the little Chinese lady that used to make them for us has stopped making them, which I think is very unkind. So I haven't got them. So 
Sugar balls do, little bits of paste. If I'm making eyes now, I'd start off with white. Oops. So you want a little ball of white. Or you can just use the, the black balls. Cut it in half. So just go over towards your right hand side, Georgia. Yeah. There we go. Right. And Leave the other way, yeah. You yep. can show them what you're doing, that's great. A little tiny weeny yeah. teardrop. Hands down. <laughs> Super. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, John. You're getting told off. Well, they were all telling him what to do, but yeah. he wasn't paying any attention. He's now eating a banana and not doing any filming. <laughs> right, little ball. Little tail. So, Amory is going to put the eyes on and everything else on. I'm not quite sure. There you go. So, it's a little tiny ball. Little teardrop. The paste is soft so it can stay in there. It doesn't need any glue. And then the eyes, the pupils either go towards the left, towards the right, towards the middle or up. You don't want the pupils that go one to the left, one to the right. Because no, they don't. really look funny. They look strange. But they? it happens because, it looks really you're spooky. because you're concentrating so much. <laughs> it does happen. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You wouldn't believe how spooky they actually look when you do that. So I've put two little holes in, and then I've got little black balls. All these little balls, um, sugar balls I'm showing you, Carol has got. Is that right, Carol? Correct. Right, so. I've only taken them out of the big containers because of traveling and carting everything. I have so much to take. So two little black sugar balls. There you go. There you go. It's okay. looking good. Looking good? Yeah. And very carefully just push those in a little bit. So the little discs that the model is sat on, we sell them in packs of 25. I don't sell them in singles anymore, mainly because they were just flying all over the place. So I just thought, oh, you know what? They're not a lot of money. So they're 5.99 for 25, which works at 16 pence each. Well worth it. And they're always more, more expensive to buy when you buy things singly. You need something to, to put your character on. Um, whatever you do, even if you um, leave them on the board to dry, to handle them and to move them, you need something. Yeah. 1.5. Yeah. So the size balls, are they those little four mils, do you think they are? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They look like four mils. Yes, but it saves you mucking about with the eyes. They're so easy just to put a little ball in. And they're the same size. Yeah. One ball cut in half. I'm just going to do the ears. Excuse me if I've got camera on. <laughs> right, ears. This is the small cell stick. That's the largest one. I've then got little tiny weeny ones as well. I don't know where it is. A little time if I find it I'll get it out oh here we go so they go right the way down these cell sticks to little ones oh, I didn't know that mm. that's me back on the shopping list tomorrow this one's brilliant yeah I think this this I these are what I use all the time yeah sorry about that no worries I'm back on the shopping tomorrow <laughs> so the little and I think they kind sets I think they come together those two come together as a set I could be wrong I'm sorry if I am but I've got a funny feeling those two come together mm -hmm. So we've got the ear, two ears, and this is going to go in the middle, cut again. Don't be tempted to make one ear because you'll never get it the same size, both sides. So two little balls. Right. So the um, paste goes in the rounded end of your um, tool. Just mark it. Then drop the little pink bit in and push that in so you've got a colour inside the ear. Again. And squeeze. Turn it down to a ball. 
and push that in. So your ears. Now do this with cats as well. So we've got, I think it's Gerda from Genev from Holland. She goes, hello, this is Holland. <laughs> hello, this is Sugar and Crumbs. <laughs> Give her a wave, everyone. <laughs> that says one. So it's one in the wrong place again. No, no, I can see what you're doing. A bit of glue on the bottom. And push down. Super. Yes. He looks so cute. He looks so lovely. He does. <laughs> <laughs> One unicorn in five minutes. So John, did you feel all that love? Mm -hmm. Did you get it all done? I got, the, I got the critical bit, bit, bits in. <laughs> good. Good, good. I'm not sure where else you can buy the smaller sticks, but we will have them on the website by the end of next week. The, yes, I'm sure they, them come, on me. they come together, I'm yes. sure. I don't know why. So Georgie sneaked them on me, I wasn't aware of them, no, but I will make sure we get them in the shop for next week. I only use good equipment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You buy cheap, you buy twice. You do. Yes. I'm sure everybody out there is nodding with me as well. Yeah, so we've got the bigger roll in here, but we just haven't got the two smaller ones, but we will do. Don't yeah. worry. Right, I'm going to do a quick bow. There are bow makers. Do you have bow makers? Yes, we do. Right. We actually do the Patrick Cox's bow makers. Oh. Um, Should have used those then, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't oh, matter. Sorry. We do those if you want to find it easier. Because the way you do it is great. Yes. But not everybody can. No. So the bow maker by Patrick Cutters, and we do the Karen Davis bows. Makes it really easy. This is the Georgie bow. No, this is the Georgie bow. Don't need anything for this one. Yeah, what's the sharpness on this? Right. So you need a strip and then another strip half the size. Go that glue. A little bit of glue in the middle. Edge to the middle. We've been doing this this morning. Edge to the middle. Flip. Is that? Oh. So easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Just yep. show me, please. Yep, there we go. Yeah, super. What do we think of that? How cute is that? Very easy. A little bit of glow underneath his chin. Just lower down. Over to John, this way. <laughs> Nobody can see him over there <laughs> yet. <laughs> you can't help but go off centre, can you? So I can easy. assure you, ladies, there's so many cameras around. <laughs> Now, cocktail stick. How are we doing? All right, yes, we are. We're 38 minutes in. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> You're not finished a model yet. I'm going to sleep all the way home here. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're now going to do the horn. Now, some of the ladies make these cakes with these horns, and they're huge. Yeah, no, they're so Sometimes they're there. a little big. I find. Yeah, no. <laughs> you don't need them that no. big. I see them and they're massive, they're like bigger <laughs> than the whole cake. Mm, they don't look nice. No. <laughs> right, so you can make this before um, and just leave it to dry and then Kate take out the cocktail stick. But I'm going to leave the cocktail stick in. So I'm going to wrap that round. So that is your horn. Super. Let me just go on to this. Come on to the middle camera where John is. Suck in there, show the horn. So there you go, perfect size horn, ladies. You can leave it on the stick. Don't put this one on your big cake though, because then it won't because you've got a horn. <laughs> Just on top of your uh, unicorn. Stain. Talk to it if it comes out of stain. <laughs> there you go. And then I'm going to use gold. Right, this is um, rainbow dust metallic light gold. I don't know what golds have you got, there's loads on the market. Yeah, we actually sell Fractal and the Colour Splash range, and they're all absolutely beautiful. The Fractal range are suitable for 
uh, vegetarians, vegans, and they're halal certified as well. And they are stunning. Everybody's oh. got them, love them. Right, you're off camera there, you are. Right. Oh dear, right. Chase it from the camera. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Keep yeah. going to the left. Yeah, don't apologise. Having said that, we do sell the sweet stick paints in golds as well, so. But I think all the golds are lovely, no matter which range you go with, don't they? Yes, yes. Gold is gold. Yeah. You could do this before, but you've got to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And you've got gold on it, so I tend to do it either. Um, if you're doing it before and you've got going to put the cocktail stick in, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. It doesn't. There's no, you know, there's no no right or wrong. It's really in the end of the day how you get there. And then I might give this a second. Oh, look how cute! Is it he or a she? I think it's a she, isn't it? Oh, it's a she. Pink. It's pink. It's got yeah. a she. There you go. And that's really dry. the Renshaw paste is so good. That's that's more or less dry. Now I'm going to use a violet. This is the Edible Art Violet and you've got this one coming, haven't you? I have. This is lovely. We're on order. So the colours that George is using today, I haven't sold these before, but I've had a few people request me do them. The people, especially the people who do sugar flowers that are not edible, mainly for those. And don't forget that the models um, George is showing you as well, and non-edible models, even though we are using an edible product. So I'm quite happy to get them in for these, but if you want things for edibles, then you really need to be looking at the Colour Splash range and the Fractal range. Right. So a little bit of paste, you don't need much. And then fold in. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Mm. Look how clean my hands yeah, are. Absolutely. We had some so very good. messy hands at, at, <laughs> at Renshaw. At Renshaw today, yeah. yes, or yesterday. <laughs> Perhaps the ladies are. Yeah, I told them to come. <laughs> yeah. So look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. And it stays. All these, a bit, some of these have been made quite some time. The um, lovely bow on the Easter egg. That Unfortunately, was... I can't see oh, it. Can't see it. Just bring it over here. Around. Yeah, let's bring that one round. There you go. That's beautiful. That's the violet. And you've been doing, teaching that class this weekend, haven't you? I yes. spied it. Yes, yes. I how did to, spy it. How to cover an egg. Yeah. So Renshaw is over in Liverpool. They're a great team of people over there. They have a, a most amazing classroom um, and they do courses over there with all different tutors, just the same as us here in Sugar and Crumbs. We have an amazing kitchen over here, not as big as Renshaw, so I'm extremely jealous. But having said that, we can fit in nine to 10 students and um, do pop over to both uh, places and have a look what classes that we have to offer. Right, for the little ringlets, So on some of my characters, uh, like this one, this is a stand-up character. Um, you're not allowed to make stand-up characters. Just until push them in a little bit. You're not allowed to do stand-up characters until you've done at least three sitting down. Yeah, you ones. always say that, don't you? It's the wobbly law, and I had a lovely lady came to me the other day with five all sitting down <laughs> and said, "Can I have permission to make a stand-up one?" <laughs> I think so. They are lovely. Have you got a few more there to show them? Oh, I, I think you are. And are these in the books the stand-up ones or is it just the sitting no, down ones? I do ones? have instructions for them. Because you're hoping to write another book, aren't you? For yes, the, the, ones. the publisher. Um, yes, uh, look how cute that is. Yeah, I did. love it. What do we think, everybody? Isn't that a beauty? So when she's travelling, she has to have her leg down. Right. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> <laughs> And she's travelling, she's down, and when she, we, and she goes to the venue, she can open them up. Yeah, because it's pipe clean as you can lift her leg. 
when she gets to meet everyone and socialises. Yeah. So oh, this is... Show you this one. Oh, look at that. What do we think of these? Are these stunning? Aren't yeah, they? absolutely stunning. Much finer. When you're sitting down watching EastEnders. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to get you to do... I think we're going to have to do, get you to do a class, Georgie, on stand-up models. Yes, so there you go. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Yeah, we'll Fantastic. Do. What do we think, everybody? Is that one? What do we think? They love that. They do. John, have you got anything to say? Or are you still eating? John, John. <laughs> love having John in the kitchen. John, could you wash the paper? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Love having John in the kitchen, paces up and down. Right, I need to go and find the coat because I really do not feel well. I think I've come down the cold again. No, oh, I'll just hold on. Yeah, no. What? You watch the camera. Okay, I'll put that on. I need some around. Right, so I'm pushing that on there and then I'm going to oh, thank you. So a little tiny bit. She's doing too much. A little thin roll. Am I in the right place, folks? Yeah, John's watching. Sorry guys, I don't know, I'm really not feeling well. So my throat's killing me, my back's killing me, my brain's killing me at the moment. <laughs> I'm gone. ill tomorrow, I'm Look at this. <laughs> How's it cold? I'm so oh. shaking. Oh. <laughs> Are you alright? I don't know. Mm. If I pass out in a minute, you know why. Okay, don't worry. I'll carry on. John will look at it. Yeah, you carry on. Keep the show going. Keep the show going. Absolutely. Like a true star. Right. So, I'm just going to say, can you see how easy that is? But because you've got the good modelling paste, and I will say, Renshaw modelling paste is amazing. It's actually very good. I've been on a couple of Georgie's classes at Renshaw and never had any issues with the modelling paste. It's flower and modelling paste, and it is very, very good. Was it a big class when you came? Yeah, every time I've been to your classes, they've been full. I know, I know. I've it, never been on the little class. But it works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Thank you. I love it. A bit of glue. I love it. I think it's good. It's good fun. I think Renshaw will look after you very well. You've always been a great host. You've always been attentive. You've managed to get around to see everybody. You've got TV screens everywhere as well. Yes. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. But you can't get away with anything. You've got mirrors and yes, TV exactly. screens. And, Right. Carol all... has now put her gloves on. <laughs> Actually, a pair of socks. Oh, sorry, they're a pair of socks. <laughs> I'm so cold, John, I'm sorry. John, put the heating on. <laughs> Heating's on. My husband would say it's summer, you're not having the heating on. Right, a little bit of glue. And can you see I'm just doing some twirls on the back? So, doing them around a cocktail stick, because you can get this paste so thin. So we're not in our normal kitchen today because we've got Natalie Porter in our other kitchen with nine students. So if you can hear any little crying, it's because Daisy, our dog, would like to nip out to the toilet. Not sure if John's going to let her past or not. I was going to say, I keep hearing <laughs> something <No>. crying. <laughs> so I thought you had a baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we may have to let Daisy right. out. Yeah, no, John's going to take her somewhere else. <laughs> and I'm going to have to, he's gone off and I need to film this. Just stop Georgie a minute. Okay. I'm not going to get it off. Right, don't move it to any other camera apart from there. Right. So good. Because I can't do the other cameras. But hair is always difficult on models, and this is so easy. I know it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, but you, to be fair, you show us a way to make it easy, and it does work. Mm. Yes, it does work. Yeah. I did this in your class, and I loved it. And with your permission, I came here and did it here. Do you remember? Yes, you did. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Got myself in a bit of muddle with my weights. <laughs> I think I tried to divide the body weight between the head, two arms, and if Wendy's breast was watching, <laughs> she wondered what I was doing. <laughs> um, you can see that Carol did not read the instructions. <laughs> yeah. Light wing in it. Yeah. We all do. There we are. I'll do a couple more and then wow. we'll go on something else. But what you can we see think of that? how we can get on with the unicorn. Yeah. If there's any questions or anything on that so one. Turn it around for me. Yes. Fantastic. You're going to make some more tail. Yes, I'll just make Great. a few more on the tail. So I'll come back and answer questions in a minute. John is just sourcing Daisy out. I'm on the camera. And Georgie has to stay on this camera only because I can't multitask at the moment. 
So if you drop your hands down, so the things yeah. that you do. Yeah. <laughs> See, I need training. <laughs> Shows how high up you was then and how high you dropped down. <laughs> Turning round so we can see how you put them on. And just push, pull the cocktail stick out. Yeah. There you go. What do we think? How easy. So my little pony, of any of those. They can all have curly tails. Pussy cats. Yeah. That's fab. One more. Yeah, Julie Crompton, what a beautiful unicorn. Hello, Julie. So it's John and I back in the kitchen today, the old kitchen, Julie. Remember those days? <laughs> Julie likes to wear those, John. John, John, John. John's not in the kitchen, he's sorting Daisy out, and I am multitasking and don't feel very well. With coat and me. Coat and socks. Yeah. Right, I'll just have a quick clear and start clearing out. Right. So, I'm just going to have a quick clear up before we start our next model. Fantastic. So give us your comments. Hello, Doreen. So Doreen was in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen on Monday. What a fantastic lady. Very nervous. First time. And she came on and showed us how to make models. And I am trying to get her back in June. Um, it's her birthday today. So happy birthday, oh, Doreen. Happy birthday. Yes. Shall I shout out how old she is since she's got on Facebook? No, 70 she... years young. She doesn't look 70, does she? No. looks a smasher. So happy birthday, Doreen. So Helen Mills says that you're going to Brighton. Are you going to Brighton? Yes. Yeah, when yes. are you going to Brighton? Um, Brighton Exhibition, BSG, British Craft Guild Exhibition. Um, go online, uh, British Sugar Craft Guild, Brighton Exhibition, or it's Region 8, Caroline Harvey. It's an extremely well organized exhibition. Um, so yes, it's yeah. really I spoke to Caroline, she wanted us there this year but we couldn't go because we're on holiday. But um, I'm going to try and make it the year after next, I think it's every other year isn't it? It is a lovely, lovely, yeah. friendly exhibition. Yeah. So everybody, if you want to buy anything that George is using tonight, I haven't got everything in stock but I've got most items in stock. So if you pop over to our page sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, it's very easy, even if you don't want to do the .co.uk. Just pop onto Google and write sugar and crumbs. Go into the website and on the home page, there's lots of things. There's shops, there's brands, um, there's Facebook Lives right on the end. Pop along there, go to this month's Facebook Live and drop down and find Georgie. Everything she's using will be there. Unfortunately, we cannot ship abroad via the website. If you want to know how much shipping is abroad, then you need to message info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com send us a message and somebody on Monday will get back to you. Don't send us a message and say how much will that cost and how much is shipping. We actually need to know exactly what you want because shipping is based on weight, size of parcel. So it's very important that we know both of those things. The cutters that Georgie is using today are all FMM cutters and they're all on our wish list. They're all on our website. And you're using the, ge ge how do you say it? Ge 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 um, geometric. Geometric, there you go. So she's using the geometric cutters and to be fair, I didn't used to sell them until Georgie came and did her Facebook Ten. Live and I have to agree with her, once you've got a set, you, it's the only set you use, time and time again. There's 10, I've yeah. lost one somewhere, but I'm not surprised. No. Um, I've probably had, oh I didn't bring, the, there's a very large oval. Mm. So there's your set of 10 and the geometric and I think they're the only Cutters, section of cutters up there, there. Yeah, you've always been a really big supporter of those, haven't I you? I have, yes. So they come in the geometric size. We also do the love hearts, we do blossoms yeah. as well. Oh, we do the hearts. Um, we do, yeah, you can do those, we sell those as well. They're not on the wish list, you'll just need to pop over to Brands FMM and you'll be able to see everything in there. If you missed anything, private message me afterwards and I will send you a link while I'm in bed, I think, making myself feel better. Yes, right. Are we okay? We're going to do the chicken. Yeah. What we're going to do now, John? Are you ready for filming? Should I move this out the way? Yeah, uh, you can yes, move please. them out the way. Right, you can go over there. So John's back on camera again, filming. Right, we're going to do the chicken. So the body exactly the same. I've used the yellow, um, the yellow Renshaw modelling paste, and I've just put some white in it because it's a little bit dark for what I'm doing. Yeah. Or you can use yellow food colouring if you wish. Yes, and um, in white. Yeah. And I'm using tangerine edible art dust colours because I only want a little bit. 
and Renshaw don't do a modelling paste in orange. Mm -hmm. But I am trying to convince them. So the edible art colours, I don't stop myself at the moment. I've actually never stopped them, but I have spoken to them this week and I have placed an order. Hopefully they will be with us within a week or two. He's trying hard to make sure we get them within a week or two and they'll be online then. Um, if you're looking for colours immediately, please pop over to the Fractal range because the Fractal range are absolutely stunning. And lots of you ladies have got those colours and I'm a big fan of those. They're totally edible, they're suitable for vegetarians and vegans and they're actually a halal certified. Right, there's the tangerine. If you're using a little bit of tangerine, you get peach. So the tangerine's a nice colour. Right, we're doing the feet. First of all, I'm going to make socks because chickens have socks. Mm -hmm. Just to repeat the name Didn't of the website. <laughs> Just to repeat the name of the learning. website because somebody's asked. It's sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And the lady who's in Holland, we can dispatch from Holland from our website, I do believe. Yes. yes, we can. We just can't dispatch to America and I think Italy, I don't think we can do. Right, five grams. The scales that Georgie is using, they are for sugar and jewellery, not for anything else. If you've got any other social habits, please do not tell them about us, tell us about them. But we use them for weighing jewellery, your gold. We'll always like to take gold off you. So, <laughs> or otherwise you can weigh them with your sugar paste. Yes. Um, Georgie sells them, so therefore you would need to pop onto Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and pop over to Georgie Godbold, and she can actually dispatch them out to you herself. First one I'm doing socks for the little chickens, or little anklets. So five grams cut in half. Two balls. And then I make it like a disc, just flatten, turn over. And do them both together and then you'll get them the same. Even though you've weighed them the same, they'll look the same. There you go. That's that one. Then we're going to do the feet. And I use the little square cutter. Any, oh, you can't see the comments, can you, John? Sorry? I'm just saying to John, is there any comments? I can't see all the comments I have. Look at the phone that I can use. Not too, not too thin. One. So it's just John and I in the kitchen today. Um, Laura has actually um, had a foot operation, so she is off work resting her foot. Maria is back in sunny Spain um, with some family celebrations. So it's just John and I in the kitchen. John's not used the equipment for a long time, he's completely forgot. And I was on camera, but my back is gone, so now John's back on camera. <laughs> well, I've just taken a little bit off because it's a fraction too big but you do not have to go out and buy a little tiny cutter and if you mark the outside you mark that and then you mark that you've got a little foot yeah that's good isn't it that's very easy well done So lots of people saying hello, do support Georgie, get those thumbs up, let her know what you think. Don't forget, she's doing this tutorial for you free of charge, Sugar in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. John and I are giving up our Saturday afternoon to show you. So um, please make sure that you support her there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't move from that camera. Right. And then we've got... These have got little fluffy legs. So these are stripey. If you want stripey um, legs and you haven't got stripey pipe cleaners. I'm not going to make a drink because the castle makes too much noise. <laughs> Maybe we are making a drink. Shall I put it back on again? <laughs> so just get two ordinary pipe cleaners and twist. Drop it down, Georgie. So now this see. took me ages to work out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, one day I was just kind of playing with my penis and went, look, I've got yeah. a stripy one. 
So we've over 120 people watching, which is fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Good. So there's your stripey pipe cleaners if you want one. I've got a few here. I'll make that a little bit smaller because I've got a small board. Take the fluff off. A little bit of glue, not much. And push in. Turn them up and there's your feet. Fantastic. Let me just go to there. Okay. Fantastic. Got two holes in here because it's nice and soft. Pick up your legs. So are you enjoying it everybody? Do show Georgie your support. Wow, oh, that's so cute. I like it. <laughs> Cara Butler says she's so engrossed watching you do feet. <laughs> Thank you. So Belinda Wills uh, Watson, Cara, what are the smaller pointed roller bins, uh, pins? They're called cell sticks. We've got the larger one. We haven't got the smaller one in stock. I will make sure I've got them in stock by the weekend, next weekend. Because if I feel the way I am tomorrow, I won't be doing any work tomorrow. So I'm also going to receive college on Monday with Natalie Porter. We're judging the cakes. Oh. Yes, exactly. So uh, we're doing some donations of uh, no pressure. ice and sugars over there. <laughs> All right. Having lunch. The tail. Lots of support here. So these are the FMM heart cutters. We sell them. I think they come in a set of four, if I remember right. Yes. And they're great for doing ears as well, aren't they? They are. Yeah, they've got tail. That's perfect. Love that. So easy. Mm. So my camera is just not focusing properly. Oh, no, this just okay. trust that minute. Oh, do you want that in there? Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Yes, the hearts, you can make wings. I'll show you two ways of making things, it's yeah. easier then. No worries. So Janet, we actually don't sell the pipe cleaners. To be fair, you'll be best off going to Hobbycraft, um, eBay or Amazon and buying them. They're so cheap, there's actually no money in them to buy them. So um, go buy them, you buy them in a bundle. I think you can buy them in bundles of 100. I think, how many did I yes. get in that big pack yeah. at that time? Oh, thousands. Yeah, thousands or something, wasn't it? Ridiculous, I've still got a drawer full of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only bought a thousand to make one bunny. <laughs> for one unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> but we do these things. I know. We do these things. I needed them desperately at I know, the time. You had to have them. And I paid for prime delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that, but don't tell Chris. <laughs> right. There is a smaller heart cutter than this, so I'm not going to use this. So if we want um, wings. Just a perfect way right. to make wings, perfect isn't it? Perfect way to make wings. Do you know what I love about these models as well with you, Georgie? It's such a good thing to do with the children. Yes. So it like your Amelia loves it, doesn't she? Adores and, it. You know, all children just love sitting and playing and making these things. If you can sit there and make them, in fact, the kids usually end up better than the adults. All right. The oval. Now, if you want a small oval, which we do, cut two out. So you don't have to go out and buy another oval. No. Just bring the original one down a fraction. Bring that down a fraction. And you've then got two small arms. Perfect. Because sugar equipment is expensive. A little bit of glue on that end. Yeah, and try and utilise some of the things that you've already got. But mm. this set, this um, geometric set is absolutely amazing. And I have to say, I never sold it until Georgie first came on her first live. And, and then we've sold them and they've sold very well. Everybody wants them. The hearts are separate. I think you get four in a set. Have we got lopsided wings there, Georgie? <laughs> One slipped. <laughs> Just check in. <laughs> so Jesse, this is chickens on speed here. <laughs> Chicken's on speed. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Chicken's on speed next to the scales that has the white powder. I can powder. assure you it's a peach and a bottle of wine we're looking at tonight. <laughs> Kristen, do you want to go out? No, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Peach and a bottle of wine. 
it's her one. Uh, Fingers to die. <laughs> right, 20 grams for the head. Whether I'm making the bunny, a human, anything, a fairy, it's 20 grams. Do you want to just tell them that again? Because I missed you on the camera last. Sorry, I do apologise. No, that was my fault. Oh, I, didn't right. I was too if, busy looking at comments. If I'm making heads for the fairies, um, the pirate, um, any of them, any of the little characters, it's all 20 grams so that you'll remember that. So if you're making something which I haven't got in the book, you'll get the sizes right. Perfect. So how much is it, Carol? 20 grams. How much is it, Joe? The body's 45. 20 well done. Oh, no, the body's See? 45. The head's 20, is it? Yes. And is the feet um, 10 five. cut in half with five? <laughs> oh, Eh? That's the socks. Yes. No, but I did say 10 yeah. cut in half, yes. five. Yeah. It's all in the book, so please don't worry. Because you weigh 10, don't you? Roll it nicely yeah. and then you yeah. cut it in half, don't you? Yeah. Well, sometimes if people haven't got the scales that go down, these go 0 0.1 of a gram. Yeah. So if they've got scales which do 5 grams or 10 grams, they can work, work it out. Yeah. So we've still got a very large audience, Georgie. Well done. Thank you. All right, nice smooth ball, we're out of time. So not bad, two models in one hour. Not done bad, have you there, Georgie? Good She's girl. She's only three hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got the cocktail stick and the head. Go straight on the cocktail stick. So do remember what Georgie said earlier, these are not edible because we're putting cocktail sticks in them and we're also putting wires in there, piping wires. So they are cake toppers, okay? They're called sugar wobblies and they're wobblies because the wires bounce about and wobble. Simple as that. Mm. Hold for the beak. Beak. It's probably two grams. Depends, depends how big you're doing it. If you've got a little chick, it's much smaller. This will be all right. So, nice smooth ball. If you find that it's not going smooth, again, a little bit of tricks on your hands. Trex is a great product, isn't we'll it? Make it pliable. Yeah. Yeah. So Trex is vegetable fat for those people who don't know. And if you're in America, it's called Crisco. Use a quality one. Don't go buying lard. That is not the same product. Little point teardrop, and little point the other end. It is fiddly, but it, you can do it. You're just pressing down. So we're going to put a little bit of glue, just a small little bit of glue. As you can see, I've got a little tiny brush here because I don't want to use much. And push that in. And then with little scissors. Can you see that, John? Mm -hmm. Snip. I'm amazed John's there. <laughs> Maria's going to be so impressed. She's doing, he's doing you out of a job, Maria. <laughs> No, yeah, definitely give Maria this job back, let me tell you. So you've got a little beak. Yeah. And Just turn it back round to me again because I missed it. I had you on, <laughs> I had you on the side camera. There you so go. There go, little beak. Do you want to twirl him round slowly so we get the full Hello. shape of him? Yay, look at that. See? Cute, love it all. Great. Eyes. Again, Eyes. Not wide apart, we don't want an evil chick. No, we don't. And I'll do a different method. So the big white balls. Those click, did I put your click with pen down? I just have to press those click with pens. And a normal um, pen, or if you've got the edible, do you sell the edible pens? Which I, I don't, but we do have a click with pen there. Oh, you've had this. these before, you? What have you done with them? What, this? Yeah. No, I've never had one. Have you not had one? No. Well, that's yours. It's fine. <laughs> very fine. Which the good thing with these pens here is, Paul, oh. it's very simple. It's very, very fine. That's lovely. And it goes straight onto wet sugar base. You don't need to wait for it to dry. You're redundant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Yes, absolutely. So that if you wanted so to write fun. on your cake, happy birthday or something like that, you can. Don't look while I'm doing this, in case yeah. it goes wrong. <laughs> right. So John's got to come and watch what you're doing. John, you need to film. We need to get these eyeballs on. We're very upset. We have a chick with no eyes. 
did smudge it there a little bit, so I'm sorry, I'm not used to it. Should have tried it out with the... Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's more finer than a pen. Yeah, very fine. I have made a little mark, mm -hmm. but I can get it off with a baby wipe later Can't on. Can't see it here. Ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da, show charm. Ta-da. There you go, well done, thank you. Oh, I like that, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we like that. We like that. Right, to make him look a little bit more cute, we're going to put some um, fluffy bits on like the others. So we'll do that now. And this is being done with sugar paste. Yeah. Um, you need a soft paste. So make sure you've got this. This is not flower modeling paste because it's quite firm. It's sugar paste and you're going to see exactly why you need to use sugar paste. Is this there ready to roll that icing? Yeah, ready yeah. to roll nice and soft. Yeah. So if you say to people, the only, um, I would only cover a cake with sugar paste um, and fondant. That's the only time I would really use, apart from this, is fondant. Everything else is modeling and flour paste. So this is nice and soft. I've got the yellow. This is the sunflower yellow again, mm -hmm. which is very nice. So the pens are edible ink, okay? They are suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and halal diets. They are not only just suitable for halal diets, they've actually been certified for halal diets. We are in stock of all the colors apart from black, and they sell very fast. I have to tell you, when I get them in, they fly out. So I'll speak to my supplier and see if I can have some in by next Friday. They come in all colors? They come in all colors, yeah. Oh. Red, yellow, orange, blue, brown, green. I used to do them as a bundle here, but I stopped that to bring the price down, so I now just bring them down to the cheapest price I can. They are lovely, and as I say, you can write straight onto wet sugar paste with them. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to wait for it to dry. It doesn't bleed either. Right, so giving fluffy hair a great expense to stop teeth strainers. <laughs> I don't stop them, no. <laughs> if you've got a clay gun, you can use one, but I just find this so easy. If I'm going abroad, I definitely don't take a clay gun because I've been stopped so many times because it looks like a gun in the can. <laughs> and you don't want that. So if you're going abroad, just take a tea strainer. <laughs> so the petal dust that we're using here is we are using edible art. Sugar and Crumbs has made the decision to start stocking edible art and hopefully we should have stocks in within two weeks. So our supplier tells us. However, we do do a fantastic range of fractal colours that are equally as amazing. Uh, Georgie has always used them when she's been here in the lives, but because I said we were going to stop the edible art, she got those out of the case as well. So they are lovely. Um, we've used a tangerine colour and um, we also have a tangerine in the fractal range. We also have the colour splash range, which are equally as good as well. Apart from the fractal, I'm good for vegetarians, vegans, and they're halal certified. He's now got a top knot on, fluffy top knot, and that's just pushing the sugar paste through a tea strainer. So Janet says she uses the garlic press sometimes yes. for different thicknesses, so yep. good, well done. Yes. Um, the edible, the pens are edible ink, yes they are. A little bit of glue on the tummy. Take it off with a cocktail stick. I buy cocktail sticks for the hundreds. We're putting on this little hairy chest. So I just turn it round to the camera on your yeah. left. Just turn it round to where the other tea strainer is. I thought, yep, yeah, there he is. Right. Yep, yeah, you see that? Because then we can see you scrape it off the um, tea strainer as well. Now, I've actually done this method as well in Georgie's class. It's great fun. She generally never gets any uh, <laughs> any sips back. Everybody's usually wrecked them because they've insisted on pushing flower paste through instead of modeling paste. But there you go, mm -hmm. God bless her. You do some... well, don't you? Keeping your patience. <laughs> oh, yes. This one's got rather a fat, large, hairy chest. <laughs> we like fat, large, hairy chest, don't we, John? I just say, don't look at John. <laughs> 
I never I said that, John. I wouldn't say that, John. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a hairy chest. Wow, look at that. What and we can, can we think? We can give him a bow oh, exactly the same as we've done before. Do you want me to do another bow? For yeah, absolutely. Just show them how you can do the bow. Right, absolutely. We want everything you've got, Georgie. You don't think you're coming here and not getting away with not doing everything. Uh, this is blue. <laughs> this is the lovely blue, and I know it's awful, but I just actually don't think? know the... It's hydrangea. Oh, hi, there you go. Yeah. So this, this blue here is from the Renshaw Flower Modelling Paste. It's actually called Hydrangea. We, I think there's nine colours. In fact, I'm, I'm sure there's nine colours um, in the Flower Modelling Paste. And it's amazing stuff. You only leave a little bit. It is very tough when you first cut it up. It's yeah. very hard. So don't try rolling the block. You don't actually need the block. Cut it up into little one inch chunks and that will be easier for you to mould. And if you really struggle, just pop it in the microwave for five seconds. Don't do any more because you'll end up burning your hands. Please don't ask the children to do it either. <laughs> so sugar paste and fondant is exactly, exactly the same, Maria. So fondant is a word that's come from America. Yeah. So here in the UK, I was always confused at first when I started cake decorating, because to me fondant was the icing that, it, that you put on top of those like buns when it was a pink yes. stripe or yeah. um, a white stripe. Those are like bread buns, I don't yeah. know, they're like a sweet bun, aren't they? Yeah. But that's now called glaze and fondant is... <laughs> Sugar paste. Is sugar paste so there you go so sugar paste is what you're looking for here in the uk in america it's fondant in um america it's called um gum no it's called gum paste gum isn't paste. it gum paste, yeah, gum yes. paste yeah. and i think in europe flour modeling paste is called gum paste there as well anybody new to sugar flat um sugar um work it must be so confused oh, with all yeah. these names oh, well, I always find it, you want yeah. to see my lads in the warehouse they're freaking dizzy <laughs> And the thing is, everybody's got nearly the same colour. Uh, is your warehouse all finished now? Okay? Yes, it's is all it? finished, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're seriously thinking about getting another one. For all the edible art colours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased, I like them. Yeah. The mezzanine has made a massive big difference to our lives, a massive difference. And we didn't actually think we would fill it with products, but we have. And I have two lovely ladies watching uh, who follow us. That's Karen Griffiths and Michelle. And uh, they both work in the warehouse and they look after it. They keep it top drawer. It's the best it's ever looked. Right. I'm so pleased with them. Make another bow, just to remind you. Oh, there's the bow. Yeah, there you go. are bow makers available and they're very good. Yes. So, on the bow. I'm just me. Yeah. So when she said this bow maker is available, uh, Patrick Cutters do an amazing little bow set. And it's like, I think it's about four or five cutters in the set. I can't remember. So you can do lots of little sizes and tiny ones as well. But Georgie's doing this freehand. So for those of you who have the confidence to do it freehand, then great. And if you don't, then you can always buy the bow set from Patchwork Cutters, which is equally as amazing. And all good products. A little bit of glue, edge to the middle, edge to the middle, and then flip and squidge. Take off the back. It looks so good. Yay, it looks so good. Stick them on there. That blue is lovely, isn't it? Mm. There we go. Yay! Well done. What do we think, everyone? So, who's going to be making their Easter chick cakes? So, where is your big cake with those on, Georgie? Do you want to show them? Because we're on rabbits next, aren't we? So, we've done unicorns, we've done chicks. Where's the chickies? Oh, there's the chickie. This is Mummy Chicky. Yeah. That's what we like. Look at these guys. Look, she put little hats on them, little bows on their head, so you can make it very girly. Do you want to show them how to make a hat? Have you got time? Uh, uh, yes, yeah. of course I have. <laughs> you know we like it no all. So what do we think, everyone? Should we make a do a hat? <laughs> Putting a bow on's easy. Come on, Georgie. Okay, I'm doing it. 
So this little cup She is... might be ill, but my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to get John to put... He's got a hot lemon drink. Do you want to put it in the microwave for me, John? Oh, did you do it? You've drank it? Yeah, I've drank it. Yeah, 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 drank it. Is there anything left? I'll have a gin and tonic, please. Oh, wish I could have a gin and tonic. Right, okay then. So this cutter we're going to use now is a blossom cutter by FMM. It's not in the wish list because obviously Georgie didn't know she was going to have to make a hat. So um, but you can just go over to our page, drop down to brand FMM, or you can go to the search bar and write blossom cutter. Uh, so they're there as well. They come in a set of three also. Yes, yeah. yeah. So FMM products are actually excellent. What are you doing, John? And then, just to give it a bit more interest, yeah, embosses. So the rolling pins here are like little embossing rolling pins. We do stock them, um, albeit the supply that we buy them off has discontinued the range. So I'm hoping to go direct now because they were FMM emboss rolling pins, which Georgie put me in touch with, um, but they have discontinued the range. So. I've got another contact via Georgie, so I'm going to contact them as well on Monday, see if we can get a few more in. It should have been um, a bigger cutter, there's a bigger cutter, yeah. but I didn't realise I was putting that. But if you can get see how idea. you do it, that's, so really that is just paste on the back of the head, and then like this one, exactly the same, just do the bigger cutter, and I'll put flowers If on. you rolled it and thinned it out before you embossed it, would that stretch yeah, it a little bit? Yeah, could have done, yeah, but it needs to yeah. be a bit bigger. And then we just put some little flowers so just, on it, and don't some we? Little flowers around the back. So how cute is that, everyone? Good. So we've got two models now. And then the good thing is, you can actually create them to be your own. So it's amazing, really. Whenever you go to a class with Georgie, isn't it, Georgie? Yes. We go to. A... <laughs> She's concentrating on the next thing. I know. Yes. So sorry, whenever sorry. we go to class, it's amazing. We all do the same cake, but yes. everyone's different. Everyone's different. It's, it's just really, it's funny, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. We all come up with all different colours, different totally. looks. Faces yeah. are looking different ways. Yes. Ears are different. Everything. Yeah. But I have to tell you, when you get home with them, everybody loves them. They're yes. amazing. So if ever you do get a chance to get on a class with Georgie at Renshaw or Sugar and Crumbs, do make sure you jump on them. They're not expensive either. They're actually really very, very reasonable. The next class is a minor September. Yeah, so we have to get you back here. Okay, <laughs> come back here. So next time you book in with Renshaw, yeah, you can probably get two places yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fine. Really Tell that. Renshaw to stop being greedy and that they have to share you. They have to share you. Otherwise, I'm going to drop that in. <laughs> 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 I'll come here first. <laughs> right, a bunny, a bunny. We've done a white bunny. We're all right for time, folks. Are yes, we? we are. Good. So we're an hour and a half in, Georgie. Oh, so we? you've got to speed this one up really speed fast. Speed up. So speed hold now and we're finished, okay? We're done, yes. Bunny. Right, how much is the body? Uh, 45. Well done. <laughs> I know, I'm proud of myself. Wendy Ann Preston is watching and she knows she? that I tried to use 45 to make a head, arms, legs, and everything else. Got myself well and truly confused. And when she told me what I tried to do, I went, hey, who's doing the demo? <laughs> and then I had to apologise. <laughs> so she is watching. <laughs> right, um, if, if John's free at all sometime, would yeah. it be possible, please, to. Oh no, I can use the other side. It's alright, yeah. you don't have to wash it. No. Thank you, John. It's hard to wash I it. I only bought one tea strainer, yeah. the, uh, the other dozen are in the car. So. Yeah, it's going to be there. Thank so. you. Yeah, you've got to dry it. Yeah, right. right I'm going to do the belly. Yeah. Yeah. Because, right, now, Georgie, you can't move from this camera now because now John is washing the tray strainer. I'm here. And I'm on video. You need to stay here. Right, I won't move. And then I was hoping for a lovely lemon drink and John drank it. <laughs> Doesn't care about his one. You did ask for a lemon drink, didn't you? Yeah. And he had he it. made one, a lemon and honey one. It was one he made earlier, it just bumped it in the microwave. Oh, yeah. oh. Right, I'm going to put this one I'm doing, this little one here. Yay, wow, okay. look at that. Which one are you doing? The big one in the middle? Yes, yeah. fantastic. Now, Great. This wow, one. are we excited for the big one? The big one always comes last. This one I'm not using um, pipe cleaners. I'm just right. going to do it as a model for Oh, you. fantastic. So if you haven't got the pipe cleaners, you can do it this way. Well, that means we could actually eat it if we don't put cocktail stick in. So you, you can actually make... eat it. Why can you not eat it? Well, you because it's it. very crisp when you're using modeling paste. That's uh, really yeah. Mm. yeah, it's very hard. No, you can't. Yeah. Okay. I tried, girls. I tried. <laughs> 
If you're making it and you want to eat it, I'd put spaghetti inside. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. that will hold it. Yeah. And you could even make it in marzipan as yeah, well. Yeah, you could. Renshaw marzipan does taste delicious, doesn't it? Right, are you back on camera, John? There you go. Right, just hang on a second. John's back on camera. So I hope you're all enjoying it. When the Empress is here, she is. She remembers it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Trying to make a whole body out of one bit. <laughs> There's no hope, Wendy, is there? No. <laughs> Needs training. <laughs> oh dear. Right, 20 grams, and I'm going to do the feet first at the bottom, and then right. that's anchored to the board. So we've got another little board again, very, very useful little boards. So, so these boards come in packs of uh, 25. They're 5 99 which works out at 16 pence each, which is really very, very cheap. Are they 3 99 Sorry, I was ripping them off for two quid there. So, <laughs> <laughs> got my prices wrong. There you go, they're 3 99 well, not 5 dollars Hey? Depends whether you said before was right or not. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you said before. before. Yeah, you yeah, said 3 okay. before. Did I say 3 99 So 3 99 for how many? 25 That's not bad. I actually don't know how much they are. Go and look on the website, ladies. <laughs> I feel really very, very poorly. <laughs> Go straight to me. We, we, we'll like, we've got half an hour later. We will try and keep her going for another half an hour. I've got my coat on, my head's killing me. I'm she so hasn't had her lemon drink though, has she? No, like one bracket. ball, cut in half. <coughs> and by the way, Georgie is poorly as well. I she haven't is. given it her. <laughs> right. <coughs> oh dear. I think Natalie Paul should have to look after her own shoes at tomorrow. I'm going to be in bed. Right. Two sausages. Teardrops. Do them both and then you'll get them both the same. Yeah. Your little palette knife. If you roll your palette knife up your paste, you'll get nice little toes. Mm -hmm. So just roll it up. That's why these palette knives are lovely. Hold that down and push up. So Wendy, we haven't got Georgie booked in yet. We were hoping that she was going to be doing the class today, but Renshaw nicked her before me. So now I know where I stand, second. <laughs> we'll be having a chat with Renshaw. We'll make sure we get her first next time. So conversations to be had. Yeah, they are 5 99 which is what I did say before. 5 99 which works out. How much should you work it out for then, Charlie? It's 3 99 I don't know. Let me help. I'll just put those there for the minute. I'm going to put some glue. So I've um, shaped them. A bit of glue. Not too much. Can you see I'm just shaping that foot around but I'm keeping the foot up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Any mm -hmm. questions on that? Yep. No, they are. And you've got those nice little toes, because rabbits have got big feet. Rose Thomas is on here. She said she bought your books three years ago, and she always makes her Xmas wob wob wobblies from them on her Christmas cakes, and they're so easy to follow the instructions. Thank you, Georgie. Thank you. And I must admit, my daughter bought them several years ago, way back in, oh, I don't know, 2014. She came to a demo at Cake International and sat in your stand and bought them there. And little Holly's been over, hasn't she? You've looked after Holly for me. Yes, I will be um, uh, Cake International in London. And I'll be on the Jack and Jill stand there working mm -hmm. hard. It's not far from me. No, it's quite yes. local to you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see how many times I use these cutters. I think the whole of the wobblies, wobblies were based on these cutters. Right. Do you have any little heart cutters in your... You do sell the heart cutters, yeah. They come in sets of four, I do believe. All right. 
and they're the FMM Heart Cutters. So if you do go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you can go all the way along to Facebook Lives, drop down the wish list into this month, find Georgie Gobbold, and everything she's using is there. If it's not there, just it's, all the cutters are FMM. So pop over to the brands, FMM, and you'll see them there. She's used the Blossom Cutters, the Geometric Cutters tonight, um, the, the oval come in the geometric, don't they? The heart cutters, yeah. So everybody loves this. Mm. So I've just been asked, am I having a stand at CI? So I'm not having a stand at CI and I'll tell you why. So, uh, Cake International do not support brands. So they're more than happy to take the money off you for a stand, but they're more than happy to allow copy sellers to sell the same product as you. And I don't really care if anybody knows that, but my discussions with them for the last four years about other copy sellers Selling my product is totally outrageous. What's more, I sell my product cheaper than the copies, okay? Um, our copies are brand, our, our actual products are branded. They're registered with the Intellectual Property, uh, Intellectual Property Office, which is the EUIPO. We've paid for all our certificates. And Cake International have made the stance now after promising for the last three years that they were going to look after us. After actually removing them last year from the show on the Saturday, and then the guy who was selling them brought them back on the stand one hour later. So this year they have told me that I have to deal with the gentleman concerned legally. I have spent over £2,000 dealing with this gentleman legally for him to ignore everything I've wrote to him. And he laughed at me and John in the show. So if Cake International would like brands to go to their show, this brand is not going anymore. Good for you. Yeah, I'm not having it. No. So we've got Blossom Cutters to sell? I sell Blossom Cutters. Right. Yep. Are they sets of two? They, the Blossom Cutters, I think they're sets of two or sets of three. Yeah, I've got um, the little one there. No, I haven't. <laughs> and it is really sad because I really like Cake International, but not anymore. Well, if you, the the world-renowned show, not looking after brand leaders, yeah. is appalling. So I put your Blossom Cutter on your paste and drag it off. Leave it in the container. A little bit of glue and then you push it straight on your cake, whatever you're doing. That's how I've decorated all the um, little characters and all the blossoms. Yeah, so lovely. And they're because really very, very effective. We used to have to take them off, put them in a bit of foam, bought all them, let them dry. But there's no point, just put them straight no. on. And as you see, they stay. <laughs> Janet Brown says she'll run over the directors for us and her scooter. Lots of people have said, good for you, Carol. I'm actually making a stand. I don't care whether it's right or wrong. I'm actually sick to death of being bullied by shows all they're there, they're prepared to do is take money off people and really they do not care about the brand. I am going to make myself very, very clear about this. They are only interested in taking money for their shows, stamps, your tickets. They are not supporting brand leaders. My Russian Pipe and Tips, which are owned by Alexander Lebedev in Russia, as far as Cake International are concerned, they are more than happy to have a copy seller there. If you feel you would like to help me and support me, pop over to Cake International's Facebook page and just let them know what you think. Well said. Right. 20 grams for the head, Carol? Yep, 20 grams for the head. 45 for the body. 10 for the legs, uh, 10 for the feet. Right. Pack cleaners for she's the legs. She's getting good, she's getting trained. She might Pay feel attention. poorly, but she's doing very well. Right, nice smooth ball. <laughs> Yes, Janet Foster, allowing copies is disgusting and what really upsets me with Cake International, they're the premier show, they actually won an award last year, as they do every year, for being one of the most prestigious awards world, shows worldwide, and yet they are prepared to allow free infringing copies. It's not only this seller there, there's actually other sellers there, there's actually other brand leaders there that are actually affected as well. Um, they all know how unhappy they are, uh, I am, and they are in support of me. I will tell you that Katie Sue, Karen Davies, Amy Sweetstamps, Gwen Powell, all those people are in support of me and feel very upset. But at the end of the day, it's a show and they booked their stand before they knew that Cake International wasn't going to support us. Yeah. Right. Round ball, 20 grams, hold, pointy tool, straight in the head. To make the face, a line down from the nose, and then a Y. It's an upside down Y. Can you see that? Yep, let me just go there one second. Just come to the centre of the screen. We've just frozen for a minute. Just hold on everybody. Right, come to the centre of that screen. There we go, we're back. There we go. So we're back. So I made a hole with a pointy tool, 
and then it's an upside down Y. Mm -hmm. I like that. An upside down Y. <laughs> upside down Y. You'll all remember that going upside down Y. Yeah. Right. A uh, little bit of glue in there. Little pink ball. And teardrop. No, that's not right. And around, around. Teardrop. Pointy end in, not the other way round. No. I have had it where the, yeah, it the ball, ball has gone in the nose and the point of it's come out. It doesn't, it looks really funny. Yeah. Right. So pointy end in. So he's got a little, little. Do you sell confections varnish as well? Confections varnish, do you sell? Pardon? Confections varnish. Yes, yes. I do, yes, sorry. Sorry, she's mad. Yes. Edible glaze, confectioners card, as it's saying, isn't it? We do it in a, a bottle, then you can brush it on it in a spray. Right, that's lovely. Right, two holes. And another way of doing eyes. I'm trying to show you different ways. So it's lovely to see all your support. Thank you, Alex. Well done, Karen McFarlane. Shout it from the rooftop, so attitude is awful. I have to say, it's not really the way I want to behave. It's not the way I really want to do business. But you know what? If I do not stand up and protect my own company, nobody else is going to do it. And that's been proven to me very, very clearly as per my email conversations with Cake International. They are only interested in people buying stands and they do not care if they are selling infringing copies to you, the general public, who will be unaware. So let me tell you now, if you come past anybody who is selling nozzles and they do not have nifty nozzles printed on the side, and let me tell you now as well, there'll be nobody there selling nifty nozzles, you are buying a Chinese copy. Rubbish. So. Isn't it? Yeah. She, she feels better now. I don't blame you. One, one bit. I'm no. livid. Exactly. Right. Nose. It's better to do this when the nose is dry. But this is confectioner's varnish, which you varnish your flowers with. And if you put a little bit on his nose, it gives him a nice little shine. The more things you can add, the more interesting they become. Right, and we've got the ears to do, and we're getting there. Are you all right for a minute? Yeah, we are, we certainly are. So the uh, confectioner's glaze is also known as, um, confectioner's varnish is confectioner's also known varnish. as edible glaze. Yes. We sell it with PME in a tin, which is a spray tin. And we also sell it in a large bottle uh, where you can actually decanter it into smaller bottles and then just paint it on just like Georgie did, which is great if you're only doing small bits. Yes. The spray gets everywhere and that's perfect for big cakes, not for little models. Is that edible, edible then? Spray Pardon? kit? Is it edible? What, the, the um, spray varnish? Yes, it is. The PME one is. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Right, arms. All these measurements are in the book, so don't worry. You won't all remember them. Like 10. So we're doing very well here. So we've had a unicorn, we've had a chick, and now we're getting a rabbit. And are we getting a big carrot as well, Georgie? <laughs> <laughs> we've got a hat. <laughs> Don't be doing a half a job, Georgie. Can I be clear? You've got 20 minutes left. I'm sure you can fit in a big carrot. <laughs> no pressure here, is there? No. Right, arms. One ball, cut in half. I go to bed saying that, my book. Right, tell her that. Again, palette knife. You've got little hands, little paws, look. Mm -hmm. That one. And the other one. If not, you'll put one on and you'll never get the other one the same length. No, that's it. You do have to measure them out together because it's right, you won't get them the same length, will you? Press it down. Roll up. Roll up. Two little, two little arms. I'm only using a little brush because if not, I'll use too much flow and it will squirt out. Thank you everyone for your support. It's nice to see so many of you have said you won't bother going now. Thank you. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes, it's nice to see people support. Yeah. I've spent two years here on Facebook Lives talking about brands. I've spent two years here supporting people and I just feel very, very let down. Just press 
So Georgie is a good girl. She's doing three models for us today. She's had a very busy week. She's been over at Renshaw. She's done two classes over at Renshaw. She's done a morning demo. And then we put her husband in the, in the lounge so he can rest up because she's now got a long journey to Essex tonight. <laughs> We're not even feeding her. She's getting back in the car and on the way down she's there because tomorrow she's got to make a wedding cake. <laughs> and people think Cakers' lives are so oh. easy. <laughs> If you want to buy the scales, you can buy them off Georgie, she will be at CI, or you can actually message Georgie and she can send them out to you. We don't sell them ourselves. The piping cleaners, you can get off Amazon, eBay, and if you really want them very quickly, Hobbycraft do a really good range. Um, don't be daft like me, I went on Amazon and bought a thousand. What the hell am I gonna do with a thousand pipe cleaners? They're filled up in my drawer. I really should go and decanter them into Georgie's bag before she leaves. So. <laughs> crazy it's just greedy isn't it I yeah. remember you coming to me and going say look what I've got <laughs> exactly. because they they show you like well if you spend a little bit more you get this and then a little bit more you get that so and no no I paid prime um because I definitely needed them the next day and probably didn't make one for several weeks <laughs> <laughs> how many wobblies have you made with them one yeah. how, how many wobblies have you made um, I actually made I think I made three on the live oh. I think I did and I've never made one since Except when I come to a class with you. Three out of a thousand, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> and the wires you cut in half, so you don't you only need one wire per wobbly. <laughs> yes. I won't say anything. Right, ears. These are because I'm using big ears. So little ears you can just lay on, but the big ears need support. Your husband is not in the lounge watching TV, he's actually in the car watching. Is he? Ready for the big escape. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell him it's not yet? <laughs> right, not too thin, I need a bit more white. Not, don't roll these too thin. So if you're making big ears for anything, rabbits. Oh, Do you want to show them again what you're making? That one. That one there. Oh, can you, can you see it? Sorry. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Big ears. Big ears. So Big ears. if we drop that down, let me just bring it to this just camera. Bring it this way. Which camera on? Yeah, there we go. Go a bit, a bit closer. Don't be frightened. Now John will turn it up the camera up. There we go. How cute is that? And there's also two other rabbits on there as well, isn't there? So it just shows that you can just fiddle around with them a little bit and make... Oh, there's a little lamb, is it? No, it's a little bunny. It's that little baby bunny. <laughs> She's not wearing this one. <laughs> I am falling. <laughs> You Just still haven't had your lemon and honey. No, have you? no. My husband drank it. Do you want to turn the screen down, Jean? So we can see Georgie. <laughs> right. Not too big. Let's thumb in the camera. Super. Right, there we go. So he's not asleep in the car, is he? No, he's not asleep in the car. He's watching. Oh. He's paying attention, is your husband. Is he? Um, Lynn Sprills, do we sell Georgie's book? Yes, we do. We sell two of her books. They're actually amazing value. I think they're three ninety nine or four ninety nine each. I can't remember. Okay. They oh, are on the website. If you write Georgie Godbold into the search bar on the website, you'll see them there. They're worth every penny. And as she says herself, each and every model is all based on the same amount of weight, which is forty five grams for the body, twenty for the hat, ten for the feet, and you just cut the feet in half, so five each. Right, ears. And thank you, Maureen, for thanking us for giving up our Saturday. We had to get Georgie when we can. George and I are very happy to support Facebook Live. We're very happy to support our company. And we're very happy to share everything that we can learn here with you guys. And what's most pleasing is that our artists and tutors do come along to the Sugar Crumbs Kitchen and they do travel out the way. They go to a lot of preparations. So do we. And uh, they do it all for free. So do we. We employ Maria and everybody to make videos and all sorts of things. Laura's here on a night shift, so we're really appreciative of your support. So we've got ears. Now we've got ears. So you've cut the ears. The pink ones need to be slightly smaller again. Use that same cutter, just come down and you've got a smaller middle ear. Right, so that's easy. Right, so there's your ears. Pipe clear, <laughs> cocktail stick. <laughs> It's the end of the day. <laughs> Cocktail stick, pointy end down. You don't need too much glue, a little bit going down the middle. 
straight down the middle. And this cocktail stick goes in. This one goes in. So just push those in. That's why you mustn't do it too thin. Ooh. And then a little bit of glue. That covers up the cocktail stick and you only press around the outside. If you press in the middle, you're going to show the um, cocktail stick. stick through. So just press around the outside. And will you leave them to dry? No. It didn't go straight on? It didn't go straight mm -hmm. in. So press around. Now don't be tempted to pick up the bunny ears by the cocktail <laughs> yeah. sticks. Yeah. Because you will end up with a cocktail stick in your hand and the bunny's ears will still be yeah. on the board. So get your little palette knife. Little palette this knife. This palette knife is a god saver, isn't it? It's for yes. everything. I think every sugar crafter has one of these. I don't think I could actually um, work without the palette no. knives. No. It's called a PME Mini Palette Knife. Okay, it is on the website. I'm sure it is in the wish list, but if not, just so that you know, it's a PME Mini Palette Knife. Palette Knife. Palette Knife. <laughs> so, I've picked it so up on a cocktail stick, stick and then you end up with... <laughs> You can, can you come scissors. into the middle of the screen, bring yourself nearer to the red pad. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Wow, look right. at them. And then that's why you have to do yeah. them soft. Bring it a little bit more to the red pad. Right up, that's fine. Super, right. look at them. What do we think? Okay. Yeah, And they wow. can be cute and they can be together. Then with our tea strainer again. Thank you, John. He's washed <laughs> up tea strainer. He's well trained. Yeah. Right. Go back to our ready to roll sugar paste fondant. Yeah. So do remember when you're using the hair or you're putting hair on his, on his chest, do only use the sugar paste fondant. Do not use the flour modeling paste. It's too strong, it will break your tea strainer. So please use the, just the white or yellow or whatever color it is that you need for hair as sugar paste. So can they see this? I'm just pushing it through the tea strainer. Do so not use the end of a rolling pin or anything because you'll break your tea strainer. Yeah. Just push it through. So your husband says he's only got 225 miles to go and he promises not to go to sleep. <laughs> you can sleep all the way, Georgie. He's had a good rest in, hasn't he? What he does is. he do when you are at all these events? Yeah, I know. I, mean, I know he's sat in the car now, but what does he do at Renshaw? Don't ask me. I don't know. He well, we went and saw some boats and he went to the harbour and he, they had some navy boats coming in. He likes boats. <laughs> So guys, three little wobblies, all free of charge here on the Sugar and Crumbs Live. Do make sure you give Georgie a big round of applause for coming to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen and offering to do these for you. So they, it's an absolute treat and you know, it's so good when tutors actually come and show you how to make things. It's great. So we've got a big lineup for April as well. So next week, who have I got on here next week on Monday? Oh, so Monday, we have Natalie Porter here on Monday. So Natalie is doing a two day class at the moment, the Antlers class. So we'll do a little live for five minutes tomorrow night when the class is finished to show you what everybody made. On Monday, Natalie and I are going over to Nantwich to Reese's College to judge some cakes over there for cake competition. Then we're coming right back to do a Facebook live for you where Natalie is going to show you how to use a Rapid Rose Bundle. Are we ready for this again? Um, the Rapid Rose Bundle and the, and the support pads are in stock. If you've got all the cutters, you only need the support pads. If you haven't got the cutters, buy the whole bundle. It's definitely well worth it. And Nasty also gives you a special code as well, which is in the packaging on how to download, how to use them. So don't guess them, because she shows you how to make beautiful, amazing roses. So what do we think of our rabbit? Do we love them? So it's Natalie in here on Monday. And then the following week, we have our own favourites back, which is Rob Allen and Jackie Heaton, the Bacon Nana. So they're in on the 1st of April. Can you believe it? it's going to be April already? Don't. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, okay, so are we done? We want a carrot. Oh, we want a carrot, yes, yeah, sorry. We but I weren't sure we've got time for a carrot. You've got 10 minutes. <laughs> You're only getting one carrot. <laughs> We want a carrot, don't we, everybody? Do you want a carrot? <laughs> There's the cutters. It's really 
really, apart from these, I don't use many cutters. No, you don't actually, you do generally. You've kept our audience all the way through, Georgie, which has been fantastic. Wow. So you've done very, very well. Everyone is loving it. Robert Allen is here watching, who's going to be here in two weeks time. Um, what else? Oh, loads and loads of comments. When you're in that 225 mile journey on the way, way home, Georgie, I'll let you answer them all while I go to bed and recover. <laughs> <laughs> With my coat on by the sounds of it. Have you had your lemon yet? No, not the lemon yet. We need to put the kettle on, it makes too much noise. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. Again, tangerine. So this tangerine colour is part of the Edible Art range, okay? We actually do the very almost identical colour in the fractal colours. Um, we are going to stock Edible Art because I do know so many people love them and they're very good value for money. However, we do sell the fractal range and the fractal range are edible. So um, it doesn't matter on this product because Georgie is actually making a product that's not edible. It's just going to be a cake topper. Uh, the Fractal range are suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and they're also halal certified. We also do the Colour Splash range, which again is an amazing range, very good value for colour, very good value actually. Oops, right, I'm doing uh, green, green, green. Uh, I like lime. I, yes, lime, I like lime. Lime is one of my favourite colours. So Andrea, it's great when you watch how these tutors make them. It does make you realise that you can make them yourself. So Andrea says, well, I didn't realise how easy they are to make. Thank you. They really are. Once you know how, it's easy. The world's your oyster. I've been on plenty of classes with Georgie and it's amazing. Every student in the class, she shows everybody one, um, one product, one wobbly at a time. Yes. We make loads of wobblies in the class, but she shows them all one wobbly at a time, a design for a cake, and we all go in with something different, and they all look amazing, don't they? They do. Amazing. Tell, them, tell the ladies to go on the Renshaw um, Academy website. Never mind Facebook. Renshaw Academy website, Sugar and Crumbs classes. And they can see <laughs> so yes. And the Sugar and Crumbs yeah. classes. If you do pop over to Renshaw, you will actually see what Georgie was doing this weekend. She's done two classes there. There's some lovely pictures of the people in the class. The Renshaw's classroom is absolutely amazing. I've been there myself. Very good value for the money. And if you are local, certainly make the trip there. It's well worth it. Right, so this is lime. I don't think I can shout out for Renshaw anymore. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, fine. <laughs> it's the wobblies. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to you, George. Right, that's the lime, and that's the orange, tangerine. So the lime is lovely. The lime's lovely, yeah. love it. Yes. There are some lovely colours. Yeah. We also do the lime in the fractal and the colour splash range, which are equally as lovely. So if you're looking for something edible. Kind of edible, then use those as well. Carrot. Can you just come lower down near the rabbit? There you go. Yeah, that's fine. Me, there? Yeah, it's when you lift your hands up in the air. Sorry, sorry. Just miss the camera. <laughs> I'll get it right one day. When's Maria back? <laughs> Maria is back late Monday night. We're hoping that providing her plane is not delayed, she's going to jump off at the airport and come straight here for the live. If not, we have a new lady called Shelley who's going to be filming. It will be her first time. So <laughs> Won't be me, my back's gone after 15 minutes. Right, so I made a hole in the middle. And then you can do little lines like carrots have, or with a paint, fine paintbrush. Janet Brown says you've, she's never seen you make her, and she is a wobbly with her wobbly leg. <laughs> Janet Brown is the one who had an accident last year and ended up in hospital for a hell of a long time. She posted on our page, you, you do know her actually when you see I her. I do, yes. Yes, yeah. and um, so she said that she would like you to officially make a wobbly for her with a leg up. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we're always out for you. So to make the carrot, the greenery of the carrot, Slits. That's so easy, that is it? So easy when you know. 
So the demo is nearly coming to the end. Do try and stay with us. We've only got a few minutes left. I know most of you have done it and it's been great. Really appreciate your support, but you really do want to see these three little wobblies together now, don't you? Mm. Do you make sure you get those thumbs up and love hearts going and in a token of your appreciation to Georgie coming over here and she's now going to dash out to the car and do a 225 mile drive home. Answering all your questions on Facebook. <laughs> Sorry. Don't answer any more than 50 at a time. You'll get blocked off Facebook if you do. <laughs> I hope you saw how I did. You hang it upside down. If you do that the other way, they all fall over right. before you've had a chance to do it. Right. So a brush. <laughs> I was trying to clear up. <laughs> get out no, of the building. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. You couldn't do this and not like what you're no. doing. No way. Not for three days. <laughs> right. So I'm going to take a little bit of that off. Cocktail stick. So when you do your, and that's how I made the little um, carrots. I'll yeah. get the cake. So there you go. That's how you make your carrot. Can you see that? See that? It's just good. Such good pace. It just stays there. You don't do anything else, actually. Pardon? Right, you don't do anything else. <laughs> right. Let's give you a carrot in your hand. He's just about uh, to munch it. Yeah, that's what we like. Munch a carrot. Stay. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, mm -hmm. fell off. He's now going to have a cocktail stick through his bum. Because <laughs> he's soft. Just drunk. Again, so his arms are just sliding as well there? No, they mm -hmm. don't. Yeah. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> no, not. He will behave himself in a moment. He's got the weight of a heavy carrot on him. He's not quite set yet. Da. Da, 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 da. What do we think of that, everyone? How fab is that? So, Angela, sorry you've missed most of the demo, but we are finishing in a few minutes. And when we cut off, you can actually go back and watch it at your leisure. It will be on YouTube tomorrow. John, can you turn that camera up so we can get this other cake in? Mm -hmm. That camera there. So there's just the ones as well. Keep that one there. Yep, yep, Keep yep, them yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. So turn it around. Super. So um, it won't be on YouTube tomorrow. Sorry, it will be on YouTube on Tuesday because Maria is here. So it won't be on YouTube until Tuesday. So are we done? Should we get everything all together? Done. What would you like? The other little yeah, Let's get all the other ones. Let me take my coat off. Let's see if John see me. Hates this coat. <laughs> Hates this coat. It's probably crisp. Just finished. Just don't worry about the dog shop. They'll be fine. So everybody, what did you think? Oh my goodness. We've got visitors at the house. <laughs> so my goodness, what do you think? Well done, Georgie. Thank, Thank you for coming. She is a superstar, isn't she? And what a bundle of fun. She's always great. Whenever I ask her to come over, she always goes, yes, Carol, yes, let yes. me fit it in. Yes, she's so good. And you know what? She's a long way from home. So do make sure you get your thumbs up. Let her know how much you appreciate that she's here. And um, lots of things that you can make on classes. Is this what you've done this weekend on the class? Yes. So yeah. this is one of the classes, this la the ladies this week. I don't know whether John can zoom in there. That's, yeah, there's another one. So this was one of the classes. Did you do this no, on? No, that was last week. Or was it last week? Was your again last week, was you? No, I was in Chelmsford. I did, <laughs> did one at home. That was a home one, so that one. And then this one. Yeah, that we one. Are here. So can you see right. this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, when did you do this one? Thursday or Friday? Um, What's today? Saturday. Saturday. Yes, today. <laughs> Friday was that one. Yeah. No. So if you do pop over to Renshaw, do go over there and see what tutors they've got. Do pop over to our page, see what tutors we've got coming in. We've got Zoe Fancy Cakes here in June. Um, I'm doing a cupcake bouquet class, Nifty Nozzles class. Um, we've got Natalie Porter back in again. Um, we've just got to get this little lady booked in again. Make sure you tell her you want to hear in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. We had a great lineup when she was here last time. So it's good. Good. So a big thank you to you for joining us. Sorry about my little winch about CI, but I have to do it. Um, but thank you for supporting Sugar and Crumbs. We really do appreciate it. We do hope that you've enjoyed today's live. It is Saturday afternoon. We have given up the time for you rather than our normal Monday. But we will be back here tomorrow night for a quick preview of what Natalie Porter and her students have made. So that'll be around about six o'clock tomorrow night. So we'll give you a little insight into that in case any of you want to book on her amazing class that she's doing again in September. 
and then we'll be back for the live again on Monday night where Natalie Porter is going to show you how to use her Rapid Rose Bundle with the support pad. She's also going to talk to you about colours, blending. It's really very important you know how to blend and how to use colours. And happy wobbling. And happy wobbling. We will see you tomorrow night at six. Bye. Bye. Bye.